Hi, welcome to video number two of the Mercury demonstration. Last time I was going to show you how you can play your uploaded files. You would just call the application My Music. You will be able to create your own albums and playlists. As I told you, when you upload uh, files, they get processed server side. So when I uploaded these two MP3 files, the server automatically uh, got the name of the artist, the name of the song, and the length of the audio. Now, this might be a little loud, but I'm gonna show you that if I click a song, it automatically starts playing it. So, that demos the My Music application. Now, let me jump to something a little bit more work-related. Uh, you can have work applications. Uh, as I said before, I'm going to allow programmers to create their own applications. So, uh, companies can create applications and you can work from home. And you can, uh, or you can use uh, Mercury as a back office for your uh, company. So imagine you can start working on this text from home. Uh, let me just add a little bit here. I save it, I close it, and when I arrive at the office, I call, call it up and everything is there waiting for me. Or I can just share the file with someone from my, from my company and that person can automatically open it with no problems. So, I have um, I have Google Chrome here. Uh, it's also running Mercury, but with a different user. As you can see, I have a stopwatch here, perfectly working. Uh, this is <laughs> for me to control the length of the video, because this is YouTube and it can't be more than 10 minutes. And I have a chat application here. I'm going to open the chat application over here too. Each time you receive a message, you get a small uh, audio signal. I hope it's not too loud. So as you can see, it got received over here. So this demos the chat application. As I told you already, many of these applications are proofs of concept just to show that they are working. I have other applications here to show. This is an RSS newsreader. I'm, I opened up an, a bit of news from um, GameSpot. Let me open up TechDirt. You can see the Ajax icon over there. Whenever that shows up, it means that um, the server, uh, the application is talking to the server. So I can click any, I can click any news here and open it. Let me minimize that. I have another similar application here. This is a TV guide of sorts. I have the channels listed on this side. For example, if I click the Hollywood channel, it tells me what will be on and at what time. So if I click Jurassic Park here, it shows me that it's when it's going to be on and what's about. I can add a specific um, show to my favorites and I can uh, see when it will be on next. So if I click um, House here this one and I click next showings it tells me when house will be on per day and per hour now this is this was a this is just to show programmers how easy it is to create these sort of applications in, inside mercury it's extremely simple moving on uh, programmers will also have access to uh, charts here is an interactive chart 
very easy to code. You can resize it, you can hover the mouse over a specific point. This is another type of application, very, um, it's very in fashion nowadays, uh, diet and exercise helpers. This is a treadmill trainer, you insert all of your details and it creates uh, charts like this one over here so that you can see your progression. Of course, a calendar that couldn't be, couldn't be missing. And uh, I've uh, installed inside Mercury uh, the O3D plugin, which allows us to create 3D applications. I can even maximize it. Uh, my computer doesn't handle 3D very well, so it's kind of slow. But I think you get the point. Uh, you can have uh, many types of, uh, of widgets. Here is the FIFA World Cup widget, a Twitter widget, a lottery widget, and the weather widget. And I've even created a translate application, which translates anything you write over here to Portuguese. Of course, there's also space for games. Here you have a, a flash, a flash game. This one is called Steam Birds. And how amazing is that you can play and work at the same time. You can even have uh, web comics, Penny Arcade, XKCD, and the Daily Dilbert. You can also, of course, upload your own videos. Uh, there will be multiple formats handled and supported by Mercury. This one is uh, in DivX format. I'm gonna. It's the Inception trailer. Dreams feel real. It's uh, DivX format, and you can uh, have the, um, the uh, vanilla formats, Flash. This is the trailer for Iron Man 2. So that covers video. You can also have uh, YouTube clips. In fact, in fact, you can open as many YouTube clips as you want to. Uh, you can open up a child window from a YouTube window and it gives you the thumbnail for that particular video that you're watching. So this was a very short introduction to Mercury. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please leave your comments. If you're a programmer, please leave your questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for your time and patience. This was Hugo Ferreira. Thank you.